There are hundreds of tablets out in the market having various types of specs. But if you want a gaming-centric tablet, which will give you hours of sustained performance, you might not have many options to choose from. Because a gaming tablet must have a powerful chipset, immersive display and great battery life to give you the desired performance. So in today's video, we are going to break down the top 5 tablets that will give you satisfactory gaming performance for a longer period of time. On Tech Insight, we offer the perfect buyer's guide for all kinds of tech products including PCs, laptops, accessories and any other tech gadgets you can think of. Our specialized team of tech experts research and analyze the market and create a list based on pricing, quality, features and user feedback, ensuring you get the absolute best in each category. To find the best suited products according to your specific needs and preferences, watch the full video and look for the purchase links in the description. At number 5, we have the Samsung Tab 7 FE, a mid-range yet powerful gaming candidate in the Samsung Tab lineup. Previously, Tab S7 and S7 Plus received praise from users and tech enthusiasts for delivering magnificent performance. The S7 FE stays in the middle of the both tabs, delivering close to flagship performance in a mid-budget. The Tab S7 FE, as large as the Tab S7 Plus, it has a 2.4-inch high-resolution screen, although this time it's a 60Hz TFT LCD panel. The screen resolution is 1600 by 2560 pixels. So, you'll get sharp and crystal clear content watching and gaming experience. The screen brightness is also plenty, having 520 nits of auto brightness. The display bezels are very narrow, so it looks premium. The aluminum unibody with the flat sides is here to stay too. You also get a bundled S Pen stylus with low latency writing. There are dual speakers on both sides of the tab, powered by Dolby Atmos. So, you'll get immersive surround sound during intensive gaming, taking the experience to a whole new level. Under the hood, you are getting a Snapdragon 750 5G chipset, a well-proven mid-range chip that can handle all the games you throw at it. Combining with 8GB of RAM and 256GB of UFS 2.2 storage, it produces enough juice to run all the high-end games in mid-graphic settings. On the back, you are getting an 8MP sensor that takes good photos in the daylight. For selfies, you'll get a 5MP front camera. Photos look decent too. The interface on the S7 FE is One UI 3.1 on top of Android 11. The software is smooth, bug-free and Samsung promises to give software support up to 3 years. Moving on to battery life, S7 FE packs a 10,090mAh battery. It delivers all-day battery life and supports up to 45 watt of quick charging. So that's the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 FE. In a mid-budget, you get a solid aluminum design, large LCD display, excellent gaming performance and solid battery life, all in one package. Up next, we have the Xiaomi Pad 5, a powerful tablet that can directly compete with flagship tablets of Samsung and Apple. The Pad 5 feels sleek as hell, with a polished finish and a build that feels almost impossibly thin and light for its size. It's just 6.9mm thick, slimmer than almost any phone and weighs only 511 grams. While the Pad 5's frame is aluminum, the rear is actually made of plastic. Moving on to the display, you are getting an 11-inch 120Hz IPS LCD screen with support for Dolby Vision and HDR10. Combining with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 860 flagship chip, this display enables smoother animations and increased fluidity across the device. It will also unlock the potential for frame rates above 60 FPS if you are a keen gamer. This panel comes in 2.5K resolution. Although it's IPS LCD, rather than OLED, you still get excellent color range and support for both HDR10 and Dolby Vision. This tablet comes in 6GB of RAM and either 128 or 256 gigs of storage, which is plenty for a tablet. The flagship Snapdragon 860 makes everything battery smooth, including your favorite games. On top of that, the quad speaker setup offers an immersive sound like nothing else. 
Although the camera doesn't really matter much on tablets, still you are getting a good rear camera with 13 megapixel sensor and an 8 megapixel front camera for selfies as well as occasional video calls. The battery is an 8720mAh cell that ensures all day of battery life. Plus, it supports fast charging up to 33 watts. Overall, the Xiaomi Pad 5 has a lot to offer, including a flagship chipset, decent camera and excellent quad speakers in half of the price of the current flagship tabs. So you should definitely check this out. The Android tablet market has been rapidly shrinking for the last couple of years, and Apple's determination is the reason. Apple has been rightfully crowned as the tablet king. But Samsung is among the few Android makers that methodically try to challenge Apple's rules, and well, this time around? They might as well put a dent in it with the new Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. What's so special about the Galaxy Tab S7 Plus then? Well, it's probably the first Android tablet to trump the iPad. It has a kind high resolution AMOLED screen with 120Hz refresh rate and HDR10+. It also supports the S Pen and the Active Stylus comes bundled. The S7 Plus has a 12.4 inch AMOLED panel that is bright, vibrant and pixel dense. Colors practically jump off the screen and the blacks are as inky and deep. Topping it off is the 120Hz refresh rate which makes every interaction battery smooth. Both Tab S7 models have Qualcomm's latest and greatest Snapdragon 865 Plus processor and 8 gigs of RAM. It also has fast UFS 3.0 storage up to 512GB. Performance-wise, you can expect to play all the graphics-intensive games at their high settings. Samsung has also implemented flagship specs in the camera department as the rear camera setup has dual sensors. A 13MP regular one coupled with 5MP ultra-wide. Front camera is an 8 megapixel one. Both front and rear cameras produce excellent quality steals. It has a mammoth battery of 10,090mAh cell. It's an all-day battery and you don't have to worry about charging the device a couple of times a day. Outside the hardware technicalities, the new Tab S7 Plus has been heavily optimized for both tablet and desktop experience. It features the new One UI 2.5, which is basically an enlarged smartphone UI. But you can also switch to Dex mode to work like a desktop device with multiple apps, Windows and whatnot. Samsung has also partnered with Microsoft for unmasked office experience, future-proof xCloud gaming ready via Xbox Game Pass and added support to be a secondary screen to your Windows PC. All in all, the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus wows with a strong performance and a gorgeous 2.4-inch 120Hz Super AMOLED display and its S Pen and optional 5G make it the best Android productivity tablet you can get right now. Moving on to the next one, we have the iPad Mini 2021, the biggest upgrade that an iPad Mini has gotten in the last couple of years. Although it's the mini version of Apple's magnificent tablet lineup, it comes with their latest mobile chip, the A15 Bionic. Yes, you heard it right. Other than that, there are other shuttle updates such as 5G, new cameras, new USB-C port, new Touch ID and now, of course, the brand new design. For the first time since the original, the iPad mini has changed its shape and display size. The recent Apple iPhones and iPad Pro tablets are the inspiration behind the new design and it adopts the same flat sides and flat frames. The iPad mini has an 8.3 inch LCD panel that Apple calls the liquid retina display. It has a 2266 by 488 resolution, so it's a 2K display. The iPad mini runs off the A15 Bionic processor and 4GB of RAM with 256GB of storage, which is the same configuration that runs the latest iPhone 13 phones. In fact, it's the most powerful tablet after the latest iPad Pro. It's got enough juice to play any graphics-intensive games with ease. There are all new cameras in this Mini too. The front one is a 12MP ultra-wide camera with a 14mm f2.4 lens that supports the cool center stage feature. There's also a new 12MP rear camera with Smart HDR3. It can capture videos up to 4K at 60fps. 
We also want to mention the switch to USB-C port, which may render all lighting accessories useless, but it opens the door to a whole new world. The 6th generation iPad mini has the same battery as the old one, a 5124mH cell, but it supports fast charging by a 20 watt power adapter. Apple promises 10 hours of web browsing or video playback for this iPad mini, which is incredible. Overall, the iPad mini 2021 is a really powerful tablet with a lot of new and future-proof features. So if you want a tablet that doesn't have a big form factor but delivers similar power to its big brothers, this is the one you should go for. If you want to enjoy absolute beast performance from a tablet, then we say you should definitely go for the iPad Pro 2021. There's no feature that you'll miss in this tablet. First of all, we'll talk about the display that comes with the new technology. As usual, the iPad Pro comes in two sizes, 11 and 12.9 inches. The latter is the model to pay closer attention to this time around, as it boasts a new display technology. Apple calls it a liquid retina XDR display, but we'll stick with what the rest of the industry calls it, mini LED. It's pretty much the biggest reason to upgrade to this machine. Other than that, the display has resolution of 2048 by 2732 pixels and it's 120Hz enabled. So daily usage should be battery smooth. The iPad Pro is powered by the same new M1 processor inside the recent MacBook Air, MacBook Pros, along with 8GB of RAM and 512GB of internal storage. It means that you're getting a lot of power to handle any heavy games and multitasking. From ultra gaming to the pro-level productive works, this tablet gets you covered. Another desktop great feature is a Thunderbolt port. It still offers the same USB-C connectivity as before, but now you can benefit from faster data transfer speeds if you connect with Thunderbolt-supported external storage drives. The two other major new features here are 5G connectivity and the center stage feature of the camera. Both features are warmly welcomed by every consumer. Moving on to the cameras, the back of the iPad Pro has a 12MP f1.8 main camera and 10MP f2.4 125 degrees wide angle camera, along with a LIDAR depth sensor that greatly accelerates augmented reality and 3D image capture. On the front, there's a 12 megapixel 122 degrees wide angle camera upgraded from the 7 megapixels on last year's models. The main cameras record video at 4K up to 60 FPS, while the front camera records 1080 pixels video at 60 FPS. The iPad Pro has 7538mAh battery. Although it sounds like a medium-sized cell, it can last up to 10 hours of continuous screen on time. All in all, the new iPad Pro is the best tablet money can buy, with top end power, a fantastic display, a whole host of new smaller upgrades, and all-around experience that makes it a must-have for both Apple fans and those who want an unrivaled tablet experience. Thank you for watching the video. If you want more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also press the bell icon for instant notifications, so that you never miss a video from Tech Inside.